Hello and welcome back to Hundred Percent Info. In this video, I will show you how to improve battery life on Poco F7. Let's begin. We can start with enabling dark mode. I know it may sound kind of silly, but trust me, it does make sense. In order to change to the dark mode, we want to go into settings, then head into display and brightness, and finally switch to dark mode. Why? Because many screens nowadays are OLED screens, meaning that they need more power and more energy in order to display brighter pixels. So, obviously, if we change our screen ratio to be more about darker pixels, then we don't have to use as much energy. It's really an easy feature, and if we change it, suddenly it's a really big game changer. Another thing that is really important for saving your battery is to simply shorten the screen timeout. You can do that by going into settings, then scrolling into not display and brightness, but this time lock screen, and here we have sleep. Now, as you can see, I'm currently at five minutes, meaning that if I would leave the phone and go somewhere, then my phones would still be on for five minutes before turning off. That is a huge waste of power, so I will switch it to one minute instead. Then we can disable vibrations or haptic feedback. We can do that by going into settings, going into sound and vibration, and if we scroll down, we can see here our vibrations and haptic feedback. We can disable the vibrations and we want to make sure that our haptic feedback is disabled. While it's not a big change, because we are basically turning off the little engines that respond and are responsible for little vibrations and feedback and whatever, we will save a lot of battery just thanks to these options. And then we can go into settings, then we want to go into battery, and we can simply see which applications are wasting the most amount of battery. Now I do have some funny thing here, since apparently uh, the contacts are the most power-hungry application on my phone, I'm not entirely sure why, but let's just pretend that you didn't see that, because on most people's phones, at the top will usually be some sort of, sorry about that, some sort of, for example, game, because games usually tend to waste a lot of battery, or most commonly, social media apps, like TikTok, YouTube, etc, etc. So what we want to do then, is to simply find the application on our apps, which are right here. So let's say we just found um, the contacts. I mean, the contacts are pretty funny, but whatever. So we have our contacts, as you can see, they did waste a lot of battery. So we can enable pause activity, app activity if enabled, and then go to battery, and we want to switch from battery saver, which is by default recommended, to close apps after 10 minutes of background activity, or even better, restrict background apps. Just to make note that whenever you enable it, some things may broke, because then you may not receive, for example, notifications or other stuff. So just to make sure that if something goes wrong in your application, you can always try to go back from this option to close apps after 10 minutes of background activity. And I think, to be honest, that's all for this video. Of course, there is one last option I can show you, and it's pretty self-explanatory and very simple. Uh, simple. I, I just uh, want to show you that you can go to battery, then go to into battery mode and switch from balanced, which is the default one, to battery saver. It's not a big improvement, but as you can see, it does say that we should technically save up to two hours which is, to be honest, a very good amount, especially considering that we are sitting at 26% of our battery. So yeah, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.